Right. My buddy James here wanted me to do a video on making uh, cornbread in the Dutch oven. And I had a better idea. I'm going to let him make cornbread in the Dutch oven. I guess that the world has moved on. And all certainties are now gone. So for the best. He's going to give it a try. Well, let's, let's see what we got here. All right. On that one, I've got uh, cornmeal. That's two heaping cups of cornmeal. The other bag, I got one heaping cup of flour. So it's two, two to one. Okay. So you just put them into your oh, it's cooking pot, but I'm going to use it for a mixing bowl. All right. We're cooking this in a Dutch oven too. Two to one, okay. Two, two parts meal, one part flour, and it's self-rising flour. And I, I put in two eggs. Okay. Some people put in one egg, and some people put in two. I like two in it. Two just always works for me. Kind of stir it up a little. Yep. So you go ahead and put in a little milk if you want to. Okay. Just pour a little bit in. You don't want too much. Cause okay. Just a little at a time. Cause you can always add more milk in if you need it, but you can't take it back out. Right, right. All right, we're going to put, just guessing, eight or ten coals. Just shake some on there. Now you can use that lifter to kind of move them where you want. Just kind of put them in a little circle there. Bring them back over. No, that, that's plenty. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. We want more heat on the top than we do the bottom. All right, I've already uh, oiled the pot, so what you gotta do is dump some on top now. I put about twice as many on the top. That's probably good. All right, we got this uh, Dutch oven preheated. He's going to add in his batter. Get the lid off here for him. Just dump that right in the middle. That's good milk right there, right? Take, a, take that spoon and kind of flatten it out a little bit. Probably could put a little more milk in it, but it'll be all right. Right there, I think. All right. And we'll put that lid back on here. We'll let that cook probably 10, 15 minutes. Okay. So I'll, I'll say I say between five and 10 minutes. Try and hold the camera and do that too. I got wasn't in focus. Yeah. But uh, I put that rock there. I keep that level. Yeah. So, so in a few minutes you pick it up, turn it into the next lid, okay. and that keeps you. And you do the same thing with the lid. Take the lid. Rotate it a little bit. Okay. That keeps, that keeps your heat even across the room. You don't get no hot spots on one side. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to see what this cornbread is looking like so far. Oh, well, yeah. It's about there. Looking good, buddy. There you go. Looking real good. You didn't know how to make it in that Dutch oven, but you just did. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to start making it more and more. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, butter on here. Stick of butter, he's going to rub that down. Yeah, cornbread turning with you. I've seen that. That's, 
The cast iron, you get it seasoned good, it's non-stick, buddy. Yeah. Butter soaked down in it. There you go. That'll do it. That's trick. That's trick to it right there. You put it on its sides and got it soft. So okay. yeah, that's good. Put that, put that lid back on her a minute or two. Well, that is some pretty looking cornbread, man. It's done. We'll just. Well, take that whole pot and just set it off those coals. This is done. We don't want more heat on the bottom. We don't want to burn it on the bottom here. Just take and set it off. Work, and uh, we'll go ahead and get the coals off the top. That that cast iron will hold that heat, and that'll keep that that'll keep it warm. Whatever is easy, you can just dump it in your fire pit if you want to. Put the lid back on it, that'll keep it warm. And we're done. You made your first uh, Dutch oven cornbread. Yeah, buddy, it turned out good, too. Looks good. We'll find out here in just a few minutes. Yeah, we will. We're getting ready to have a real nice meal here.